All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That's the Father in the name of the Son. Okay, the Father is the one who the world inwardly calls Jehovah or God. Okay, Bahashem stands for in the name of, and Yahweh Shah is the one who the world inwardly calls Jesus. And I want to give uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and a sincere salawam to all the Akim out here that are doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, the ones that are doing the work of the hopeful elect. Okay, I want to go in on this lesson on are you focused on the kingdom of heaven? Okay. Um, a lot of people out here, man, you know, their mindset isn't towards, um, the Lord or trying to achieve the kingdom, okay, which the kingdom of heaven is a prophecy, okay, it's something that, um, is going to happen here on this earth, okay, the blessings that are going to be bestowed upon the elect, the chosen elect people that the Lord uh, ordained to be saved uh, through through um, this this world, man. Okay, throughout this world, whereas those people that are going to be saved are the Israelites. Okay, the Lord has a chosen people with inside of that those the Israelites. Which are, you know, the one third, okay, of Israel, which are going to uh, receive the, the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. Now, with that said, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established still on this earth. So the mindset that you have is to be towards the kingdom of heaven if you consider yourself. A man of the Lord, if you're gonna pick up the Bible, you have to understand that you're got you gotta get something out of the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And what's attainable through the scriptures is salvation if you are of the Lord's elect. But if you're not of the Lord's elect, then you're just picking up the Bible for no reason, man. Okay? You're doing it for your own uh belly, for your own uh wants, your the the things that you want to get out of the scriptures. Rather than what the scriptures tell you to do and what's going to happen, man. Okay? See, the elect is going to get it. The elect is going to understand. Okay? But throughout all of this stuff, this confusion that's out here in this world, okay? You have you have to, uh, to ask yourself, you know, are you focused on achieving the kingdom of heaven? Okay? And like I said, it's not no when you die... You 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 go to um you go to heaven as this world teaches you because like I said the world the world is the uh, heaven is gonna be here on earth so with that said I'm going to the scriptures this is Luke twelve and thirty one but rather seek ye the kingdom of God the Most High and all these things shall be added unto you okay fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure. To give you the kingdom. Sell that you have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old. A treasure in the heavens that fails not. Where no thief approaches nor moth corrupts. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay? You have to ask, is your treasure here? Right now in this, this society known as America... Or anywhere in this world right now, is this where your treasure is? Okay. Uh, do you want this money? Okay. You want to be a, a rich man in this society? Is that what you want? Okay. Do you want to, to, to grow old and, you know, uh, see your children grow old in this society where it's nothing but oppression and stuff like that? Okay. Still under the curses? You still subject onto payments, okay? Or do you want to be, 
you know, in the kingdom, living forever, and you are, you are, will be able to see your children grow old. You won't see them die, okay? It says, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, okay? And, you know, one of the reasons why I ask this, this question is because you have a lot of uh, people out here that are scoffing right now, which scoffers are going to uh, happen according to the scriptures, okay? But when brothers bring out certain points, you know, about what the scriptures say, as far as trying to teach um, what the scriptures say, some people get caught up in uh, the carn uh, well, being carnal with the message, man, rather than um, taking that understanding, okay, or trying to get understanding, you know. Some people just don't have the the uh the loins to 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 deal with the the uh things uh about the scriptures, man. Okay? So a man of the Lord, you know, you're not gonna back down from from anything, man, when it comes down to to, to the truth. Okay? You you gonna you gonna stand for, for what's right. Okay? And and the Lord shows you how to stand for what's right. Okay? Because the Lord is right. You know? The the, the brothers that 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 uh sincerely believe in his word, even the sisters, okay, they're doing what the what the scriptures say, man. Okay? Exactly as the scriptures say. Not no twisting the words, uh their own private interpretation. You're doing exactly what the scriptures say, okay? And 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 you know we 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 hope that that the Lord you know looks at us and 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 sees sees servants, man. Okay, we hope that 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 we are the ones who who the Lord you know um um gives the kingdom to, okay? Because we're not just the the, the sincere. Brothers, we're not just out here, uh, you know, throwing on garments and doing this stuff just because, you know, we personally uh, want to. You know, this is what the Lord said to do, man. Okay? So while walking in this truth, you know, we, we, we got our mindset towards the kingdom because that's what we honestly are trying to achieve, man. Okay? It says, and you yourselves, like unto men that wait for the Lord. Okay? When he will return from the wetting, that when he cometh and knocketh, that, I mean, they may open up unto him immediately, okay? So when when the Lord returns, man, you know, we, the, 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 the brothers that are focused, the brothers and sisters that are focused on the kingdom of heaven, they're going to want to get the hell up out of this place, man, okay? Like when Lot escape from Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, he just ran off, you know, he didn't look back or anything, his, his wife looked back, okay, but the thing is that America is, is a, is a bad memory, man, that we want to put behind us, man, okay, it's tainted, man, okay, it says, blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching, okay, so if you focused on the kingdom of heaven, you also going to be looking for the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be looking for America to be destroyed. Okay? You looking for these these prophecies to come to pass, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. Okay? You looking for for the martial law, you looking for the dollar bill collapse, you looking for the famine. Okay? It said and you you looking for for uh World War 3. Okay? Because with, with all these things that are that are to come, you know, the kingdom the kingdom of heaven is right there, right after, man. It says, Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. Okay. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, bless all those servants. Right? 
It says, and this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man comes at an hour when you think not. Okay, and that's that's the mindset of the 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 brothers, man. We don't know when the Lord is gonna come, but guess what? Brothers are ready for that, man. Okay? Brothers are looking for the Lord to come. You know, because we're focused. That's the mindset that that we have, man, that the Lord gave us. Okay? That's that's what we supposed to be forwardly thinking. You know, that the Lord is gonna gonna um come back with those blessings, man, to give give brothers that, that eternal life, man. Okay? It says, John 6 and 27, labor not for the meat which perisheth, right? Going to work, putting in mad overtime, you know, the things of this, this society, okay? Uh, but for that meat which endures unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him... Have God, the Most High, Yahweh, the Father, sealed. They said unto him, I mean, then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God, the Most High, Yahweh? Yahweh Sah answered and said unto them, This is the work of Yahweh, that you believe on him who sent who he whom he sent. And who did the Father send, man? Send. It was Yahweh Shah, okay? You have a lot of people who say that they believe in, you know, Yahweh Shah or the one of the world and really called Jesus, but that's it. They just believe on him. You know, it's one thing to believe on him, but then to actually do the things that he say, okay? To actually um, look at the things that he did and to realize that you're going to have to go through the same things if you, if you fully, truly believe. Okay, this is Matthew 5 and 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. So if you're focusing on the kingdom of heaven, and that means that you're nine times out of ten, most, most likely that you are aiming towards trying to live righteously, man, because that's the way that you're going to get to the kingdom of heaven, not being wicked, okay? It says, for they shall be filled, you know? So the so the brothers that are hunger, hungering and thirsty after righteousness, those are the those are the, the brothers and sisters that's that's going to reach the kingdom. Okay? Lord willing, if they are of the elect. Luke 18 and 29. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that have left house or parents or brethren, or wife, or children, for the kingdom of God's sake, Yahweh Basim Yahweh's sake, okay, whom, who shall not receive manifold more in this present time, and in the world to come, life everlasting, okay, so in this society, the things that, um, that we forsake, you know, like your house, your, your, your parents, your brothers, your wife, your children, these things can can try to deter you off the path towards the kingdom. Okay? But your mindset should be focused on the on the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? You're not supposed to let any of these things come in between you because honestly the Lord giveth and he can take it away. Okay, if the Lord took something away from you, then the Lord could give it to you. Okay? But for the for the for the Lord's sake, you know, you come into this truth, you know, and you uh you stand up for what the Lord said to do, which is right, okay, and you start losing things, hey, that's a blessing, man, okay, because that shows that the Lord is dealing with you for more 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 likely, okay. But for the kingdom of heaven's sake, man, you know, we lose all these things. Because we know what's what's going to happen, man. Okay, a lot of us, a lot of us, a lot of our people look at us like we're um, the most craziest people out here. 
You know, because we, we speak things that they, they're not used to hearing, man. When you tell somebody to get right or else they're going to get destroyed, man, you know, the, 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 they, they not, they not trying to hear that. First off, they don't want to hear about the, the fact that they die. And then off top, they can't see it. Like a lot of people can't see the fact that America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. It never happened. Just like back then when, when Noah said that it would rain, it didn't happen, but it rained, you know, and it, and it flooded the earth, man. Okay, this is 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Okay, these things that are in this world, man, they, they try to distract you from this truth, man. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you love this world, okay, then that means that you're really not looking forward to the kingdom. Okay, because where, where, where your... Um, your heart is, man, that's where, that's where your treasure is, man. Where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh abides forever. So... If you abide, if you're doing the will of the Lord, then that means that more you're focused on the kingdom of heaven, and you're gonna abide forever, man, because you're doing what the Lord said, and the Lord finds pleasure in that. Okay, um, but if you're not doing the, the the will of the Lord, this is one way how you can tell whether or not you are uh, or aren't. Okay, um, if you got people out here who Hey, you got guys who know that they Israelites and they just can't retain the knowledge, but you even got people out here that are in the world, okay, who who look at um guys that are in this truth, okay, and uh focused on the kingdom of heaven with an evil eye. Okay? This is Romans 1 and 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, okay. Which when we, we tell people that the how about some y'all size the answer to all the problems, okay? They don't like knowing that, man. They don't like knowing what who 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 is Yahweh or Yahweh Shah. When we say Yahweh by some y'all side, it's like we speak in another language where we are, which we are. Um it's like we're we're just that that saying right, you know, that the names are are the are the craziest thing that that, that ever happened to them. It says uh uh Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, okay? You have people that, that know that they're Israelites that are still filled with uh unrighteousness, man. Okay. Um fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate. You got a lot of guys out here that are right. They always want to debate everything, man. Okay. Rather than focusing on the goal. Okay. It says deceit, malignity, whisperers. Okay. And you have a lot of even even uh, uh, these other groups and stuff, man. You know. It's a lot of deceive, deceit that's going on in these other groups, man. Okay. And even on a personal level, you have a lot of, a lot of niggas that are devils. That know that they Israelites, man. But if you have these these things, you know, I'm going to keep going. It says backbiters, haters of God, haters of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, okay, the understanding of how to get the kingdom or what the kingdom is, covenant breakers, without natural affection, Okay, you can't be thinking that you're going to just come into the kingdom of heaven with, you know, an evil eye towards your brother. Okay, um, in, implacable, unmerciful, I mean, unmerciful, okay, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh side that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them, you know? So, so a person that's 
focused on the kingdom of heaven is not going to be filled with these things, man. Okay? Your mindset is not going to be doing these things, man. Your mindset is going to be on what the king, what the scriptures say, okay? Having that foundation towards y'all by Shimei Osai and get the hell up out of here, man. Okay? Because you have a lot of people out here that, you know, love doing the wicked stuff, man. Okay? They love the, the, the carnal ways. They love the flesh, man. They love the wickedness, man. Okay? But a man of the Lord, they're focused on the kingdom. Okay? Not not debating and trying to find out, you know, uh, trying to get money. Okay? You, that, you guys don't understand what's going on, man. Okay? Or, or what's coming. Okay? So with that, man, hopefully this was, was edifying. I want to say salawam till next time.